Imagine you are feeling sick, and you need to go to the doctor. Your throat might hurt, or you might have a high temperature. What do you say? How do you describe how you are feeling? We will learn how to describe sickness and how to talk about our symptoms. When you go to the doctor, it is important to describe what you are feeling. The doctor or nurse might ask you, "How do you feel?" You can answer with the verb to feel. Plus an adjective to describe the feeling. I feel good, healthy, amazing. He feels bad, awful, terrible. Nancy felt sick. They feel ill. I feel weak and dizzy. We can use not with the adjective well to also say that we do not feel good. I do not feel well today. While well is most commonly used to describe health, good is also used informally. Are you feeling under the weather today? No, I'm good. When we go to the doctor's office, the doctor will ask about our symptoms. We can describe our symptoms by talking about the affected body part, plus the verb be and an adjective. My eyes are red and itchy. Janie's throat is sore. His finger is swollen. We can also name the affected body part and combine it with verbs like hurt. And ache. To ache means to have dull pain for a long time. My body aches. My back hurts. Another way to express symptoms is to use a personal pronoun like I as the subject, and have with the illness or symptom. I have a stomach ache. Her daughter has an ear infection. She had had a sore throat all weekend. You have a fever. Note that to have a stomach ache can have several meanings. The first could be that you are experiencing a dull pain in your stomach. The second is that you feel nauseous. The third meaning is that you could have painful gas. We can also use a descriptive verb to say the action that has occurred on or to a part of the body. Verbs like hurt, cut, scraped, and injured are used with personal pronouns as subjects, and the affected part of the body as the direct object. Direct objects receive the action from the verb. Subject plus specific verb, cut, hurt, scrape, plus body part. I cut my finger. Ashley bruised her knee. We can add more information to the sentence in the form of adverbs and conjunctions. I cut my finger yesterday while making dinner. Larissa hurt her back when moving boxes last weekend. We learned some common ways to express how we are feeling, and our symptoms to a healthcare professional. We learned about sentence structures with the verbs feel, have, and descriptive verbs like cut and hurt. We also talked about linking parts of the body to symptoms we are feeling, using the verb be. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.